All right, BFIT Nation, here we go, here we go. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another BFIT Live, another chance to start your week off nice and strong, all right? You have myself, Roy Montes, along with Senior Mass Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Roy. I'm doing good. I'm super excited. I need a good workout, so don't hold back today, okay? <laughs> Make me work. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. We will not hold back today. Everyone, please get settled in, grab that towel, grab that water. Today, we have a hybrid, a hybrid workout for you today. So we have a little bit of strength, so a little bit of resistance. If you have any dumbbells, any uh, kettlebells, anything with a handle that you can get creative with, uh, go ahead and grab that. We will use that for uh, one of the movements. And then we also have some cardio-based movements. So exercises number one and three will be more plyometric style, a little more high intensity, keep our heart rate up and elevated to burn those calories nice and fast. All right, team. So as we get settled in, I will go through the timing for today that way and demo each movement. That way there are no surprises. That way we know exactly what we're getting into for exercises or movements number one through four. So speaking of one through four, we have four movements that we're gonna tackle through today. Once again, hybrid style. Uh, the timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. You, we will go through those four movements. We will go through four rounds and then one minute rest in between each of those four rounds. Once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Sound good team? All right. Well, uh, just like every BFIT live, we do not need a lot of space to tackle each of these workouts. Okay. So very minimum, uh, minimal space is needed. All right. But all we ask from you is that you give us a lot of your effort. So give your max effort, but to your comfort, to your ability, dial in to each of these movements, get comfortable as we progress through the rounds, but yet challenge yourselves, okay? Um, if you have resistance, once again, uh, grab that resistance and maybe start scaling up over the course of the four rounds. But we're here to challenge you. We're here to help every step of the way, every rep of the way, myself and Sergeant Barry as well. So let's start off with some demos. That way there are no surprises. All right, so exercise movement number one, we are gonna do in out drop squats. So just like a little plyo movement, we wanna be nice and nimble for this drop squat. We are gonna start with a wide stance. So shoulder width apart here, we are going to gather ourselves with a, with a jump in and then jump out. Nice quick movement, so a nice plyo bounce to us. From there, we are gonna drop down into a low squat position, keeping that chest up, chest up and that head up as one hand touches the floor, fingertips touch the floor, and then alternate left arm and right arm. So with those drop squats, we're working on keeping that core nice and tight, back is flat, just like we would a normal uh, drop squat or a normal squat as it is. Those feet are gonna be tracking just over our toes, that chest is up as that head is up as we are looking to touch down into that drop squat. All right, we have 40 seconds of work for that drop squat. Then we move into exercise number two, bicep curl to overhead press. So this is where we have, we have any resistance. Let's go ahead and grab that here. All right, we are working some on some upper body, upper body strength. All right, so biceps and shoulder press for exercise number two. Bicep curl here, palms facing you. Strong stance here, keeping that chest up and the shoulders rolled back, okay? Try not to cave forward, okay? So nice, strong stance, palms facing you, palms facing the face as we rotate up into that bicep curl. From there, we rotate out once again into that 90 degree bend and then into that overhead press where your biceps meet your ears, okay? Nice, strong stance here. Once again, protecting that lower back, keeping that core nice and tight, and your glutes engaged to protect that lower back. So bicep curl, overhead press, okay? Bicep curl, overhead press. That's exercise number two. Number three, sticking with some plyo movements here, we have plyo lunges, okay? So we've done plyo lunges, just like reverse lunges. We were looking on some, working on some explosive movements here. All right, gaining our momentum. Scaling back would be the reverse lunge, chest is up, knee is tracking over that front toe, right? That's going to be one option here. Second option, plyo lunges. Working on gaining momentum, working on a little bit of explosiveness, soft bound here, making sure that we use our arms as we extend up and getting a little bit of air between our feet and the floor, okay? 
That's gonna be exercise number three, plyo lunges. And then exercise number four, we are on deck here for a low plank with a rotation. So low plank, meaning we are gonna be on our elbows here. Elbows are gonna be tracking and stacking right underneath our shoulder. So in that low plank position, our back is flat, our hips are square, our feet are just shoulder width apart. From here in that low plank position, we are going to bring one hand up and then extend it up into a rotation. That gaze is gonna be tracking our fingertips as we come right back down, trying to keep our hips square to the floor. Our torso can rotate up as we move each arm from the left and the right up into the sky. Gaze once again, following those fingertips. Okay, that's gonna attack and really torch our core, trying to keep our core nice and tight as we go up into that rotation, pivoting off of one arm, forcing us to stabilize, to balance, and disrupt our core, but find that momentum if we need to scale back for station or for section and exercise number four into that low plank position. Let's come off of our knees right here, okay? And let's eliminate the rotation. First, give me that low plank, eliminate that rotation. And then if we need to scale back a little bit more, off the knees, keeping that core nice and tight. Once again, elbows are underneath shoulders. Hips are square to the floor, but keeping our core nice and tight, okay? Nice and tight to engage, engage, engage. Those are gonna be the four movements for today, team. How does that sound? Awesome. All right, Sergeant Barry, all right. Well, good to have you back once again. I hope BFIT Nation is ready because these plyo movements will definitely get our heart rate elevated into a strong cardiovascular burning uh, calorie type of movement. So. With that, let's go ahead and grab a towel. Let's go ahead and grab some water. Let's get into some dynamic stretches, getting our bodies ready to work here. So we're gonna start off with a dynamic quad stretch. Again, hips, if you're anything like myself, my hips are tight today, this morning, a little more than the usual. So let's go off with some dynamic stretching here. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back. We're gonna take that left arm and extend it up into the ceiling here, up nice and tall here, okay? Pushing those hips forward. Really feeling that stretch in the quad, in your hip flexors. Go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg, left arm and right arm up to the ceiling here. We'll go through a few of these dynamic stretches here. About 30 seconds each. Switching at your pace or setting in at your pace. All right, if you need to set in on a movement a little longer to work in a little bit more flexibility, a little more mobility, a little bit of stretching. Go ahead and do that for yourself. All right, team, looking good. Last one here. All right, let's go into a lateral lunge, okay? Feet are gonna be fixed forward. Nice wide stance here. We're gonna shift our weight to the right and to the left. Nice and comfortable. You should feel the stretch in your inner thigh. We should also feel a little bit of blood flow going into your lower legs. Good, quads are getting warmed up. Glutes, hips, hamstrings, keeping that chest up. Pets are welcome, pets are welcome. <laughs> Sergeant Barry, I see one of your pets running around as well. Just try not to step on her. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, good work, good work. All right, team, that'll be it for the lateral lunges here. Let's go into a reverse lunge with a reach. We're working on some plyometrics for today with that reverse lunge. So let's keep with those hips and include our back and our lats for a quick little stretch out. So we're gonna take that right leg, extend it back into a reverse lunge. So drop that knee, drop those hips. From there, bring your hands together up and reach over to the lead leg side, okay? You don't have to hang there for too long with that reach over, but down into that reverse lunge and then over to the lead leg side with a reach. All right, you should feel that stretch in your shoulders as you reach up nice and tall, feeling that engagement in your lats. Feeling that stretch within your lats as you reach up and over. All right, two more here. Last one. All right, team, all right, team. Let's go into some hip circles here, bringing our heart rate 
back down a little bit forward and backward on that right leg backwards and forwards on that left leg go ahead and alternate nice wide circles here really opening up those hips good good keeping that chest forward trying to keep that head looking straight ahead focus on our breathing here deep breath in deep breath out good last three last two last one all right team there we go dynamic stretches off the board for today we will set our timers and then we will jump into our live workout so if you are just joining us, drop us a note in the comments below, letting us know where you're watching from, letting us know where you're joining from, okay? Once again, exercise number one is gonna be in and out drop squat. Exercise number two, a bicep curl, two, an overhead press. Exercise number three, plyo lunges, okay? And exercise number four, we are down on the deck for a low plank with a rotation or a low plank. All right, team, <clears throat> as we start our timers, grab those towels. Grab that water, we are going to need it for today. All right, grab that breath. 10 seconds here, in and out drop squats. All right, in and out drop squat in six seconds. All right, shake it off. Let's get ready team, two, one. Here we go, 40 seconds of work into that drop squat. Toes come together and then extending outward, nice and comfortably into that drop squat dropping back on those heels and with those glutes, keeping that chest up, nice and comfortable here. Goal is to touch the floor with your fingertips, but if not, let's go down to our comfort level with great form. Last 10 seconds. Six, out in five. Last three, two, one. All right, team, 40, 20 seconds of rest here. Grab that resistance, grab that resistance. We have bicep curls to an overhead press coming up. We can stand or we can kneel, okay? Standing or kneeling. Kneeling will take away a lot of that momentum if we use a lot of momentum get that, to get that resistance up. All right, two, one, let's work. Bicep curl here, palms facing you, palms facing your face, into that overhead press. Control this movement going down. Nice strong stance here. You want a nice solid foundation. Good. With this movement here, we want to work on control. Control, stability. Good. 13 here. Bicep curl. Palms facing you. Rotate out. Overhead press. Last seven. Last rep here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. 20 seconds of rest here. Once again, plyo lunges to get our heart rate up and elevated. Coming up in 12 seconds, shake it out. Shake it out, towel off. Seven seconds, plyo lunges coming up in five. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Working on keeping that chest up as we extend back, trying to grab a little bit of air with that plyo lunge. Remember to use those arms. From the bottom, explode up. Arms track along your side and overhead to help you get some air. Nice soft bounds here. Try to sit back in those toes, in those heels. All right, last 10 seconds. Keep it up, team. Out in seven. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, good job. Well-deserved 20 seconds here. We are on deck for a low plank with a rotation. If you have a mat, you can use these for your elbows. 10 seconds here. Low plank, elbows underneath our shoulders. Three, <clears throat> two, one. Low plank with a rotation. So keeping our core nice and tight. Really focus on our breathing here. Let's get our breathing under control. Nice, steady movement here. Our hand should stop just at our body center line right here. 
as we raise it up, our eyes are tracking at our fingertips. 12 seconds. Last five. Open up, three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. 60 seconds of rest right here. How are we feeling after round one? I'm feeling like I need that 60 seconds. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So these 60 seconds is a great time to kind of reset ourselves, reset our mindset, reset our bodies, control our breathing here, but also grab that water. Stay hydrated, team. All right. With these plyometrics, with these jumps, with this drop squat, it can really elevate our heart rate. So work on control movements, control movements. 20 seconds here. Water up, reset as needed but we're challenging ourselves today, team. Mm -hmm. All right, 10 seconds and we are back into that drop squat. All right, three seconds, team. Two, one, 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Drop squat for 40 seconds. Alternate left hand and right hand as it touches the floor. Keeping that chest up, that gaze is looking straight ahead or at myself, Sergeant Barry. <laughs> Good. Last 10 seconds. Challenge ourselves here. Out in five. Last three, two, one. Dr. Barry, way to finish that one out. Way to finish it out. Bicep curled overhead press coming up in 15. <sighs> absolutely, absolutely. Again, if we do not have any resistance, let's go ahead and make a nice strong fist or grab something with the handle. We're up in two seconds. One nice strong stance here. Chest is up, bicep curl to overhead press. Nice controlled movement here with our resistance. Activate our quads, activate our glutes, protecting our lower back as we extend up into that overhead press. Controlled movements here with resistance. We are up and out in 10. <clears throat> Last three seconds, team. Two, one, last rep. And time, reset, reset, reset. 15 seconds of rest here. Good job, stay with us here, stay with us. We are up in 10, plyometric lunges coming up. These burn, these activate. Glutes, hamstrings, quads, calves, heart rate elevated. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go team. There we go, Sergeant Barry, good work. Good work, nice controlled movements. Way to absorb your weight here. Last 15, take our time with it. Really ex work on that explosiveness if we need to regress, we're in that reverse lunge. Last three, two, one, and time. Reset, reset, 20 seconds here, 20 seconds. Catch our breath here. Low plank, low plank with the rotation coming up. Good job, good job. Five seconds here, low plank with the rotation coming up in two, one, 40 seconds here. Remember our elbows are stacked underneath our shoulders. Nice controlled movement with our rotation. Good job team, if we need to stick and hold that low plank. Let's do it. There we go. Remember a note here on your foot base. The wider your foot base is, where your toes are, the more stability you will have. So if they're close together, it's gonna be more challenging for us. If they're shoulder width apart, be a little bit more comfortable to go up into that rotation. Last three seconds, two, last rep. 60 seconds of rest, reset, reset, reset. 
Good job, good job. Way to stay with us. Way to stay with us. As we work on getting our breath under control. Good job, team. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Remember, if you're just joining us, welcome to our BFIT Live program where we offer at home or anywhere type of workouts. It doesn't take a lot of space, but the goal is to stay active. All right, keep active, stay active. All right, trying to lead a healthier lifestyle, a be fit lifestyle. With each Monday, we're starting off nice and strong to continue and set the tone throughout the week. 10 seconds here, in and out drop squats. We are starting round number three, believe it or not. Round number three, we are flying through. Two, one, drop squats coming up. Here we go, team. 40 seconds of work. Nice and comfortable. Nice low drop squat. If we can't touch the floor, that's okay. Let's start with six inches above the floor. And then eight, then 10. Maybe it's a little less, that's all right. Keep moving with us. Keep staying with us, 15 seconds and out. Keeping that chest up. Good, you should feel that activation in your glutes, your lower glutes, last five, hamstrings, quads on that extension up, last two, one, Time, 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 time. Good job, team, good job. Grab that resistance, grab that resistance if you have. Seven seconds here. Nice strong stance here for a bicep curl to overhead press. Whew. Limited amount of rest here. Here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Bicep curl, overhead press. Nice strong movements here with the purpose. Good, Sergeant Barry, good. There we go. Good, focusing on our breathing as well. Don't forget your breathing comes in handy. As we push up, exhale out. Deep breath in, deep breath in, deep breath out. Last two seconds, one and time. Good job, team. Good job. That one's not easy. Round three, set. Almost there, team. Almost there. Plyo lunges for movement number three. How are we doing? How are we feeling, team? Five seconds here. We are up in our plyo lunges. Grab our breath. Towel off. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Plyo lunges. Let's go. I'd say these plyo lunges are probably the most challenging movement for today. Sergeant Barry. <laughs> Especially after doing the squats. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're focusing on a lot more of our inner thigh, our inner leg, our quad. Last eight seconds, team. Keep driving up. Using those arms for momentum a little bit more. Last three, two, one, and time. Time, time, time. Grab, catch our breath here. Breath is under control. Eight seconds here. Preparing ourselves on the floor here, low plank with a rotation. We are up in three, two, one. Low plank here. Keeping our back flat, our core is tight. Hips are square to floor. Pushing back to our heels and then rotating up if we can here. If we can scale up, let's keep that rotation. All right, if not, hold that low plank. Back is flat, hips are square. Raising those hips just a little bit more, pushing back to our heels. 10 seconds here. Last seven here. Don't forget to smile as we finish. It helps. Two, one. And time, reset, reset, reset. Good job. Good job, Ooh. team. There we go. <laughs> All right, we deserve some water here. All right, team. That's the end of round number three. 
30 seconds here as we catch our breath to get ready for round number four, our last and final round. Good, 20 seconds here, team. How is our week? How was our weekend? Let us know. What did you do to stay active this weekend? That might have helped for this hybrid workout for today. A lot of plyometrics, a little high intensity. Think about this, five seconds here. Drop squat coming up in three, two, one. All right, team, shake it off, let's go. 40 seconds on the clock here. Last and final round, stay with us. Good. Remember to keep that chest up as your hips go back and down. Try to keep those knees tracking over our toes. 20 seconds here, moving with the purpose. <clears throat> Good. Out in 12. Stay with us. At your own pace. Last three, two, one, and time. Way to finish that one out. Way to finish that one out. You won't see that one again today. 20 seconds of rest here. Bicep curl to overhead press. Grab that resistance. We are up in 10 seconds. All right, working on a short rest period to keep our heart rate nice and elevated, burning those calories. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's work. If you need a little bit of a longer break, go ahead and take that break. Reset, hydrate, and then jump right back in. Good, making sure we move into that overhead press. Very thoughtful, right? Bicep curl, overhead press, 90 degree on those elbows. Reach overhead with that extension. Last three seconds, two, one, and time. Good job, team. Put that resistance away. You will not see that again today. <sighs> All right, plyometric lunges coming up in 10 seconds. All right, remember if we need to regress, let's go to that reverse lunge. Start off with plyo lunges coming up in two, one. Last round, team. Stay with us. Absorb our weight, pushing up through our front heel and our toe on that rear leg, that rear foot. Using our arm for momentum. Good, almost there team, almost there. Stay with us. Good, out in 10 seconds team. Last 10 seconds, leave everything here. Push through, five, four, three, legs are shaking, two, one, and time. <laughs> Good job, way to celebrate that one, way to celebrate that one. <laughs> that was a win. Finishing that round was a win. 10 seconds here, low plank with a rotation coming up in seven seconds. Last and final set. Here we go, team. Three, two, one. Last set, best set, Sergeant Barry. Low plank. Stay with that rotation if we can. Good. Nice flat back. Hips stay square to the floor. Toes. Shoulder width apart, pushing back to those heels. Gaze follows our fingertips here. Good, out in 15 seconds. Hold that low plank if you're there. Hold that low plank. Navel gets pushed back towards our spine. Last five seconds. Core is nice and tight. Rotate with a purpose. Last three, two, one, and time. Ooh. Team, team, give yourselves a round of applause for that one. All right, team. <laughs> All right, that was no easy workout for this Monday. All right. Once again, a hybrid, if you will, a hybrid of movements that we just tackled for today. Cardio-based movements with that drop squat, okay? Really working on getting ourselves low low to that low squat, all right? Keeping that chest up, that head is looking straight ahead. That arm is reaching down just for guidance, but also to challenge ourselves to really focus on how low 
into that squat we go. All right. Then number two, with that strength, building up our biceps and activating our shoulders with that bicep curl into that overhead press. All right. A lot of functional movement here with that bicep curl to that overhead press that can help out a lot in any type of training or testing that you may be accomplishing coming up. That movement number three, plyo lunges, plyometric lunges, okay? Working on stability. Again, all of these movements engaged our core, but the plyometric pivoting off of one lead foot and one rear foot really force up, forces us to stabilize, to balance. Wow, we drive up through our quad, through our hamstring, our glutes are activated. Our glutes are activated for that. That's where our power is gonna come from for that acceleration from that power, from that front heel, from that rear toe as we extend up. And finally, that low plank with a rotation. That low plank is good enough for that 40 seconds of work, but adding in that slight rotation forces us to stabilize and really balance and really forces our body to counteract pivoting off of one arm as you're in that low plank position. So that's today's hybrid workout. How are we doing, BFit Nation? How are we doing? Ah, <laughs> note says we made it look easy. Well, Sergeant Barry, I think we can attest that this workout was not easy. I'll tell you, when I told you in the beginning to uh, not hold back, you definitely didn't. That was a good, challenging workout for sure. My quads are still screaming. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And the fun thing about this workout and about a lot of our workouts is that we can modify these, these movements to scale back or scale up if needed. If you're looking for something more challenging, um, for example, with those plyo lunges, are you, you know, if you held, held a pause at the bottom or if you added a knee drive at the top of that movement to stand back up and add in that knee drive, those subtle little changes can help modify them into a more challenging movement. And again, if we needed to regress and scale back a little, each one of these movements, we can do that as well. If you were looking at that drop squad, maybe it's not dropping down uh, so low. <clears throat> maybe uh, it's, it's definitely not squatting down so low and going at a slower tempo. But the idea is, is just to keep the body moving, but also to fire up those muscle groups that we're using on a daily basis to build strength, to build that cardiovascular system. That way we can move a little quicker. Our lungs fill with air and our blood flow is just moving through our bodies, right? Keeping our heart rate nice and elevated, burning some of those additional calories that we may have had uh, yesterday or for breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, I hope we had a nice solid meal at least an hour before we worked out, but stay hydrated leading up through this morning and last night. We should be staying hydrated last night as well to prepare ourselves for the next day and the next day and the next day. So, <laughs> ah, BFit Nation, y'all are looking good. Y'all are looking strong as you stay with us every week, week by week. You have shown that you're progressing week by week by the notes in the comments below, just from you adding in the challenges you like or the changes that you like or what you find most appealing to you. All those comments we look at, we read, and we take close to heart so that way we can modify to a great BFIT Live for you all. All right. Well, Sergeant Barry, that's going to round out today's workout. Any last and final words from yourself? No, just anyone who joined us and, and stuck that one out, be proud of yourself. I'm definitely proud of myself. That was great. So thank you, Ray. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Like we say, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So we are challenging ourselves to the best of our abilities and we are progressing and changing for the better and a healthier state of mind, a healthier mindset for a better us to move forward just week after week. So with that be fit nation, great job today. Way to stick with us, way to challenge yourselves. And we'll see you again next Monday for our be fit live. All right. Roy Montes signing off here. <laughs>